one-on-one. As you can see, we went face-to-face. -face, right. Then I in just a moment. The Olympic flame stands watch over these Beijing games as we welcome you back on this Wednesday evening to the workers' indoor arena. Super heavyweights continue. David Price of Great Britain in the blue. He's 25 years of age. And the bronze medalist from the World Championships, Islam Timurziev of Russia in the Reds. Timur Ziyev lost in the semifinals of the world to Roberto Camarelli of Italy on a walkover, won gold at the European Championships two years ago. Meanwhile, Price is coming off an injury in the quarterfinals of the World Championships against Roberto Camarelli. He su suffered a hand injury. A bro they suspected a broken left hand. So Price Trying to come back from that. Sormiev has shown that he can be successful at a higher level of international competition so far in his career than Price has. Teddy Timorziev of Russia in the red giving away quite a height advantage, disadvantage, but doesn't really matter. He scores a point. Doesn't matter because Price allows him to walk right in. Price not using a jab. And leaving that front door wide open to, 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 to Morsiev. Morsiev with a right hand up top, hooks left to the body. As much as you would get angry at Price if you had him as a fighter for not using his height on the outside, you probably would get angry at to Morsiev a moment ago. The shorter man got inside and did not work. Now he works. But now he allows himself to be clutched and tied up. Wang Chai Po of China, the referee. You know, it's not an automatic thing that when a man gets inside, he has to be tied up. There's many ways to counter being tied up. You can take a little step back, move your feet. You can rotate your shoulders back to create punching room. But if you lay inside with a man who's taller, and doesn't want to fight inside, most likely you leave yourself available for that taller man to grab you. 
Islam Tamorziev of Russia with a one a two nothing lead. Got a point right at the bell after one. Tamorziev is from Magnitorgorsk in Russia, which is 900 miles west of Moscow. It's known as the Magnet City, once home to the largest steel mill in all of the Soviet Union. Action from round one, Teddy. And again, it's Tomoziev getting inside. You touched on it early. Not much of a jab from the taller man. And Tomoziev knows what to do. Get inside, but then allows himself to be grabbed. As a trainer, I would want to see Tomoziev take a little step back and not be satisfied with the initial punches on the inside. Keep it going. And again, to keep it going, you have to be aware on the inside that the taller man's going to grab you and take measurements not to allow him. And there's a knockdown right there. Teddy, I mentioned that he's from the Magnet City. He wants to repel that magnet. He doesn't want to be in that far range. He wants to get in there and stay close. Boy, that's, that's strange. He, he, he went down very easily as though he's still hurt to Mosiev. This is very strange what's going on here. He's and now the referee has stopped it. Wang Jai Bo has stopped it. Well, it's an upset here. It was a strange turn of events here in a super heavyweight fight. I mean, Tomoziev, the shorter man, was coming in a little wide. Price seemed to hit him with a right hand on the way in, dropped him. An eight count was given. Tomoziev was ready to go. And then a punch that looked completely insignificant, didn't look like it landed clean. He was hurt again. And then he didn't respond, obviously, to the referee the way the referee wanted him to respond. The referee stopped it. Amazing. So, referee stops contest. 31 seconds of round number two. David Price upsets the bronze medalist from the World Championships, Islam Timorziev. Gets knocked down twice in round number two, and the referee stops it. We'll be back to the Indoor Workers Arena after this timeout. Back in Beijing on this Wednesday evening, the Super Heavyweights and the Wednesday Boxing Session coming to its conclusion. Bob Papa along with Teddy Atlas here at ringside. And, Teddy, we see a big upset as David Price of Great Britain eliminates Islam Timuriev of Russia, a bronze medalist from the World Championships, and he did it really in spectacular fashion. And he did it suddenly. I mean, one moment, everything's going okay, and next moment, Price catches Timosiev coming in with a right hand. Take another look at it. Right hand on the chin as Timosiev coming in with a wide punch, getting caught in between, and then... After he gets up, this punch behind the head, I mean, it's hard to see, but even glance, here's a better angle. In the second coming up right there, yeah, it, it glanced behind the neck, and it drops to Morsiev one more time. Take another look at it. Tell you, you know, and there he... it goes, it glances behind his neck, and he gets up, and the referee talks to him and doesn't like what he sees, doesn't like what he hears, and stops the fight. It didn't really look like he was hurt. He kept looking over at his corner like, you know, what's going on here? And then the referee, you know, in amateur boxing, they're going to stop it on the side of safety. Um, it didn't, I mean, you know, the last punch really didn't look like it. He may never have recovered from the first punch. First mm -hmm. punch was, you know, Price is a big man. And he caught him coming in with a right hand on the chin. And then he caught him behind the neck, which really, you know, it can throw off your equilibrium near the head, the back of the head. One of the reasons why you have the foul, the most serious foul in boxing, where you don't want rabbit punching mm -hmm. because there's no protection back there. And when he got up, he didn't respond. His eyes didn't look right, obviously, something like that to the referee. And the referee said, no more tonight. Well, so the bronze medalist from the World Championships has been eliminated by David Price in the super heavyweight division. Now let's send it upstairs to Fred Rose.